Hello my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video we won the Gwent tournament but we only received half as much money as was promised which was extremely disappointing but whatever it's fine. But on the other hand we did finish our last scavenger hunt quest which means all of those are done crossed off our list and we're also down to next to no quest left in our quest log. So it means we have the final preparation main quest to work on and that's that's kind of it at this point. So uh, the quest text says that Ciri's spirits were high after killing Imlarith but Geralt knew this fight had been but an appetizer before the full course of battle still to come. As part of their preparation, Geralt and Ciri rode to Novigrad, where Triss and Yennefer were trying to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalok has, wait Avalok has waiting there as well. Avalok is waiting there as well. That's better. And has his own ideas how to tip the scales of victory in our allies' favor during their final confrontation with Aridin. So like I said yesterday, I assume that each one of these has a quest either a quest or a quest line to go along with it, kind of like what's happened in the past with some of the main quests. So we had to talk to Avalok, Triss, Yennefer, and Ciri is the fourth one. So help Ciri take care of her business in Novigrad. But I but I had a good think about it, and I kind of want to do our girl Triss's quest first, because sleep, it's sleep. been a while since we've actually done much together, as it were. Like, she went off to, with the, to settle the sorceresses in wherever they were going. I forget the name of the... Kavir, that's where they were going. So, and then we saw her briefly back at Kaer Morin, but that's been it. So I want to hang out with Argo Triss. But first, let's talk to Dandelion. Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. Okay, nothing. See you, Dandelion. Nothing else. So let's see, do we have anything to pop in our stash? Um, let's see. We have the Wraith trophy I wanted to keep on. Uh, let's deposit some of these other trophies. And save those for later. Um, I want to have one that is XP for killing monsters, but I never seem to remember to switch it, so I'm not sure if it's really worth it per se, but now I have it just in case. All right, let's save, and it looks like How both. How much for the night, my mm. Well, it's like series upstairs, maybe? Who else is here? Avalok. Well, let's try not to find Avalok. Let's try to find Triss. And I think it looks like she must be in here. Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Oh, um... Well, we had to do it. Siri had to do it. I couldn't let her go alone. You'd have done the same in my boots. Besides, I'd never let anything happen to Siri. You know that. <laughs> oh. Anyway. <laughs> well, I passed some pyres on the way in, non-humans. Past burning pyres on the way into town, non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. Yeah. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novigrad. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's a very, very good idea. Any success summoning members of the Lodge? Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira, Margarita, Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that. As she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. 
It was Lambert. She ran off with Lambert. Oh, that's really sweet, actually. <laughs> Maybe she'll bring Lambert some form of happiness. He, I feel like he needs it. So where are Philippa and Margarita? Know where they are. Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. The, the, the blind Phil, Philippa Eilhart, right? Yeah? Well, did Yen figure anything out about Rita? Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. Okay, so did you, have you learned anything about Philippa? So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Oh, we want the long version, obviously. Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Lop Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vleister. Philippa and a former lover? Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Mm -hmm. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. Oh! The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Zoltan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Of course he did. <laughs> it figures. <laughs> yep, that's Zoltan for you. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. Wait a minute. When we first came to Novigrad and this inn, there was a there was an owl that Zoltan was like trying to train or something. That was Philippa? That was Philippa? <laughs> This is crazy. Oh my God, they did such a great job. Um, anyway, well, I have literally nothing else to do, Tris, so let's go now. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go. Although I do want to get Geralt to trim since we're not in Skellige anymore. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham et Weir, Robert Michele, Alferte. What's that? Uh, nothing. A preliminary image. What? Stop interrupting, I have to focus. <laughs> Graham et Weir, De Agnes Kerle, Es Pirchena, A Es Clays. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. <laughs> Dijkstra. He has her at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. That was the recent past. Anything might happen to her in Dijkstra's hands. Let's go. Not so fast. The first image. What was that? Nothing. Really. Don't brush me off. I know how hydromancy works. Image appeared because you're thinking about it. It was... Uh, King Tancred asked me to become his court advisor in Kavir. Um... What, what did you say? But, yeah, the house, what was that? I, I want to ask all of these. Hmm... Well, what did you say? Let's start there. You mentioned Kavir in the lighthouse. I understand why now. Did you accept? Only a fool would refuse. Tancred's been supportive of the mages from the start. The evacuation was only possible with his help. Now he wants to revive the council and the conclave, and I'm to head both. King of Kovir, what's his motive? Tancred's picked a strange battle. All the North's hunting down mages, and he's out to revive the council? 
These are troubled times, and Tancred could be alone in remembering that mages are a powerful force. And that we know how to show gratitude. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what I was going with, that, or thinking in my head anyway. Uh, any idea what you're getting yourself into? It's a great opportunity. Congratulations. You don't exactly sound thrilled. Bit worried, that's all. You really ready to dive into politics again? I wasn't sure at first. Ultimately, though, it's something I've always dreamed of. The dream's within reach now. I'm not about to let it go. I feel like I hit the wrong one. But it's fine. Anyway, what was the house? The vision was of a house, not a royal court. It's the house that awaits us in Pont Vanis. When we're done here, when all this is over, once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri's safe, I'd like us to live there, together. Uh, hmm. A witcher's life is for me. I have to think about it, of course. Well, he could do witcher work in Covia, right? Wasn't Ciri just talking about that a few weeks, days, weeks ago? <laughs> and maybe Geralt can break tradition and, and die in a bed. Okay, I don't want to cry again. Um, of course, why not? Guess you've got everything planned out. You don't like it? I like it. A lot. I'll tell you the details later. Right now, we need to get Philippa. Right. Come on. I wish they'd not take his gloves off in the cutscenes. I mean, I feel like I know why, but his hands look obnoxiously large. I mean, I get that Triss is much more petite than him, but she's not a teeny tiny itty bitty person his hands just looked his hands didn't look like they fit his I body i hope we get there in time i hope dijkstra hasn't already hurt her the possibilities are many could be dijkstra that got hurt <laughs> not likely dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him and philip is weakened no doubt about it weakened maybe but still a powerful sorceress if dijkstra's men take the dimeridium off philip will kill them before they can say oh shit so i feel like when we were doing the whole quest line with Triss and I ended up romancing her and, and she left originally and I didn't think she was coming back. Deekshire was going into this story about a guy and a sorceress or a woman and I thought it was like him talking about Philippa and like how he had a big crush on her and maybe I'm wrong, but like I feel like there is more between Deekstra and Philippa than, you know, meets the eye as it were. Okay, so updates to Philippa. Hmm. Imagine our surprise. No, 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 wait. So thanks to her mastery of the difficult art of polymorphy, Philippa had been able to evade her pursuers by transforming into an owl. Then she had holed up in a hideout outside Novigrad to wait out the worst. Imagine our surprise when we learned Philippa had been right under our noses the whole time. During her flight from her pursuers, she had sought shelter with an old lover and fellow mage. He must have still borne a grudge, however, or he tricked her and imprisoned her in her owl form. After the witch hunters carted him off, his house was plundered, and the owl wound up in the hands of our dear friend Zoltan. Sadly, Triss discovered this right after Zoltan had lost the owl in a game of cards, meaning our search had come had to continue. So did Dijkstra send like an, uh, an intermediary there to, to beat Zoltan at cards, I, I guess? Anyway, Philippa's new owner, Dijkstra, was it a coincidence that she was now in the hands of her spurned ex-lover and hated enemy? Triss certainly didn't think so. Instead, suspecting the former spy had woven a Gwent-centered web of subterfuge in order to settle some, settle some old scores. That does seem like him. But anyway, we have a new quest, blindingly obvious. Go to the fountain near Passiflora, and then we need to go to the bathhouse with Triss. And I'll read the quest text when it finishes, just in case. Let's save. But is it, I kind of, I know, I know, I know 
There are lots of Yen lovers out there, but I, I'm, since I'm doing a Triss romance this time, we'll do Yen one next time, so, so it's okay. <laughs> but I feel like I like the sort of peaceful, happy ending with Triss, although I am very interested to see what the ending with Yennefer would be like, you know? That's, that's, I'm, I'm interested to see how it happens both ways. But it's okay, we'll do Yen next time, I promise, promise. <laughs> don't, don't hate me too much. <laughs> Redania. Okay. Redania. Yay. The place where we burn witches and then move on to non humans. And then who's after that, I wonder? Poor people? Just say it. Long live Radovid! Uh huh. No, no more other chattiness on our way there? That's sad. Guess they underestimated Philippa. You were right. She must have changed back into human form. Quick! <laughs> oh, I'm guessing Dijkstra's gonna get it. I sense strong magic. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! <laughs> we'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! Uh, fine. Triss go goes with me. Let's, let's... You know what? Uh, no, Triss comes with... Mm, oh gosh, I'm still on the fence on what to do. Actually, it's fine. Triss can protect you and then I'll come back for you guys. Stay here, Triss, in case she tries to flee this way. Be careful. She might be blind, but she's still dangerous. And don't hurt her. Okay. Oh, well, this is going to be interesting. Now I'm going to fight possessed people. But yes, Triss staying here to co cover the exit's a good idea. Excuse me, Zeekstra. Oh, do you have anything to say? Well... Get going. I guess not. Save. Uh, the door is this way. Damn, she cast a spell on the There's more. Lovely. More down here. All right, let's attempt to use the ladder, please. Please. Okay, fine. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Philippa, wait. Oh, that's dance. <laughs> Oh no, is, is she gonna make the troll attack me? Now. You're to protect me, understood? Oh no! Let no one pass. Did he block my spell? Well, that's lame. Son of a whore. See, this is why I always use Axie with these guys, because then I can shot them, but he's still holding his stupid... There we go. Ugh. I don't want to fight Bart. I like Bart. Oh, no. Bart. Witcher, no past go. Purty, birdie, no say. Damn it, cast a spell on him too. 
Mm, I, I want to help her. Let's try that. She's hurt. Did you see that? I want to help her. Heard in no. Past go. Say, but no. Let past go. <sighs> Ever had a stomach ache? Mm. Ache? I. But once old drowner eat. Her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no want. Drowner make ache very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. But let pass go. Which uh, help? Oh, yay. I don't have to hurt Bart. Poor guy. Um, can I save right now? No, I can't. I was going to try to save and reload because the music's really loud. Help me die. Don't hold your breath. Okay, now I can save. Let me try reloading because the music's quite loud. No, that didn't do anything, but it's fine. Did she kill all these people on the way? She's, uh... Well, it's Filippo, let's I'm be honest. i to hurt you. Bollocks. You will not take me. I want to help you. Ha! Forgive me, but I just don't believe you. What the hell is that? You gotta be kidding me. Oh yeah, fire elementals. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It was the Northern Winds bomb, right? And then also use R, I think. Get over to her. Let's try this way. Mistake. Stop squirming. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt. But Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, this is no time for a lover's quarrel, and I do need her. I remember you, little Bond, but this is no time for a lover's quarrel. But it's an excellent time to settle a score. Philippa will come with me, and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. 
Hmm. Tell you what the emperor is after if you let us go. Let's try to. I mean, like, I don't. I mean, Dijkstra has helped us out in the past, so I don't want to like force him to give her up. Maybe I can convince him. Let's try that. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his ass, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Hmm, I heard it from Amir himself. Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Emir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who'd... Silence! Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Ziggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. <laughs> Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Hmm, no, let her talk. Think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. <laughs> Rightly so. I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will he not throw caution to the wind? Will he not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then, then we must meet with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. <laughs> I love all the politicking. So good. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the soldier statuette. What is that one? Um, reasons of state. Soldier statuette. Talk to Triss about the statuette. While visiting an accountant by the name of Caesar, built in Geralt, or Caesar built in Geralt, snatched, snatched a soldier figurine from his host collection. Oh yeah. Uh, while I was usually while I usually deplore such acts of petty larceny as bad, manner, bad manners, to say the least, this time it led to quite the interesting series of events, so I am prepared to let it slide. The statuette you see emanated magic, and our witcher sensed it might be tied to something of prime importance, so we decided to show it to Triss. So, hmm. I got this when I was doing the, I think it was... Zoltan's personal quest where I was going around and getting the Gwent cards and I went upstairs and robbed his place basically and took the Gwent card. Huh, can we go do that? But it looks like Triss's quest completed. So let me attempt to find that one. Blindingly obvious. So blindingly obvious. 
Tris returned to Novigrad after leaving Kaer Morhen with one goal, to find Philippa Eilhart soon after she made a shocking discovery that Philippa had been turned had been right under our very noses the whole time, turned into an owl by some malicious spell. No, she turned into an owl herself and just got stuck there. She then wound up in the hands of Zoltan, who, ignorant of his new pet's true identity, strived to make of her a replacement for his former foul mouth parrot companion, Field Marshal Duda. Triss was not the only one to uncover Philippa's whereabouts, however, coming to the, that conclusion slightly before her was Dijkstra, who shared with Philippa with who shared with Philippa with the strongest bond possible, love turned to seething hate. The one-time spy and current mafia boss had captured Philippa and imprisoned her in his bathhouse. Triss and Gerald knew they must hurry. It was clear Dijkstra had not gone through all this trouble to chat with Philippa about old times. Vengeance was more likely on his agenda. Vengeance for breaking his heart and daring to plot against her. I feel like, like he might still have a thing for little Philippa. I'm just saying. It is frightening to think how this story might have ended had Triss and Geralt not have arrived at the bathhouse in, in, in the nick of time. A dimeridium collar had kept Philippa trapped in owl form, but somehow she had managed to free herself from it, revert to her true self, overcome her guards, and start tearing the bathhouse apart. Dodging her furious blast, Geralt was finally able to corner her and convince her he and Triss did not want to harm her. In fact, they needed her help. Though Dijkstra was vehemently opposed to letting the sorceress go, he ultimately realized resistance was futile in the face of Geralt's ironclad logic. And so Philippa Eilhart regained her freedom and joined the offensive against Aridin and his Red Riders. Okay, well, uh, how about we head over to Triss. Is Dijkstra still here, I want? Let me find my way out. And Reason of State, I need to look at that. It's, I'm betting that's the one where I need to go meet Dijkstra. Because he is no longer here. But let's do the statue one first. And then we'll go do Reason. Reason of State? Reason of State. Meet Dijkstra, Roche, and Thaler. I wonder if this is the Kill Radovid quest, but hang on. Let's see. Where is Triss at? Is she all the way back at... She is all the way back over at Dandelion's Inn. Well, let me run over there and meet you there. Alright, I have saved just in case this goes somewhere that I don't want to go right now. But let's head just back. Look oh, look! Zoltan's here! Hi, Zoltan! Zoltan? Get out! Nothing. Nothing new. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Yeah, his bird was... right over here on this little perch. Oh, <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, lady. Okay, let's go up and talk to Triss. Hopefully. Here she is. Where is Philippa? You know, it's fine. Yes, Geralt? Ooh, lots of things. Your earring. I found it at Kaer Morin. Your earring, am I right? Wait a second. Yes. Lost it years ago. Where did you find it? Care Morin. In a bed. You know the one. <laughs> ah, yes. The good old days. I ever tell you you're beautiful when you blush? Mm-hmm. Back then, like I said, the good old days. All my favorite earrings. I can wear them again now that I have both. Thanks, Geralt. You're welcome. Putrid Grove. When when we first saw each other again, Putrid Grove. Well, there's a there's a phrase. So there you were in Putrid Grove, and out of nowhere I show up. What did you think? Honestly? Oh no, not him again. <laughs> Figured as much. You weren't easy to find, you know. You'd recovered your memory found Yennefer, so naturally, I thought the two of you had... But it turned out my amnesia changed nothing. Wanted to be with you before, during, after, always. I know that now. Gotta say, Triss, I don't like the earrings. I, I just gotta put it out there. They're... They're not, anyway, uh, this figurine. Take a look. <laughs> look what I picked up. Come on, we have to decompress him. Think it's a soldier? I think it's a soldier. 
We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Okay, I feel like we've been here before. Like, were we here before we did the last one? Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes, be quiet and try not to disturb me. <laughs> In Alan, Dwana, our ice. Who are you? What am I doing here? It's a pond. <laughs> Ew. What's the last thing you remember, sir? Who are you? What's the last thing you remember? I remember a hill. A battle. I had orders for a unit. I remember a sorceress. Her hair like flames. She cast a spell. The right flank was to attack. Hit the shield bearers. The right flank didn't attack, and the sorceress was Lita Naid, known also as Coral. Oh. I was there too. This... this happened long ago. She said it. Rest? You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. So, what's the battle that happened with all the mages and whatnot. Um, I forget the name of it, but I'm guessing that's where he's from. But let me see if I can find this quest update. Okay, so the Witcher's premonition was, well, if not exactly right, still worth uh, having followed. Triss cast a decompression spell on the figurine and it transformed into a living, breathing human. To be precise, it turned into a Nilfgaardian soldier, whom the sorceress Coral had transfigured in the midst of battle many years ago. Nothing of prime importance per se, but quite interesting nonetheless. And that reminds me, I had an update to Dijkstra. Hmm. Dijkstra posed the mage hunt, sweeping the city, but for Philippa Eilhart, he was willing to make an exception. He had never forgiven his one-time friend for betraying him and then trying to kill him. Unfortunately, Geralt needed Philippa alive and knew how to free her. Though Dijkstra craved vengeance, he was willing to resign from his plans and return for vital information. Anyone who thought Dijkstra had broken all ties with the world of political schemers and plotters was sorely mistaken. His great comeback was to be a patriotic act that would free Verdania from the rule of a madman, the assassination of King Radovid, which I am assuming is what Reasons of State is about. So momentous decisions altering the fact of entire nations are often made under unusual circumstances. For example, when Geralt was asked to take part in the assassination of King Radovid, which I think I'm going to do this time around. So he was standing in a bathhouse in Novigrad, half naked and staring at a sweat-soaked Dijkstra. If he agreed to join in, he was to attend a meeting in a warehouse by the docks. There, the co-conspirators would hash out the details of their plan to kill the most powerful ruler in the north. Okay, now where am I? Where, where did Triss take me? Okay, well, let me run over to the docks to meet up with these three, and I'll pick you back up as I get closer. All right, so we are closer to where we need to be. Actually, we're very close to where we need to be. I just need to find the entrance. Here, maybe? Oh, oh, I need to knock. Let's try that. If I can walk properly. Thanks, Geralt. Who's there? Witcher Geralt. Get in here. 
Boss awaits upstairs. All right, well, I'm going to save and hope this doesn't end Bloody with an awkward this is cut again. Just as soon as Geralt arrives, should he arrive. If you won't plow and talk, the least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspense has made my throat dry. <laughs> oh, taller. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Uh, then up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it! I've an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo! Bloody bravo! Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. <laughs> inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovid's hired you to find Philippa? Yeah. You're nosy, it pisses me off. Eh, no, he, it sounds about right, though. What's your point? Mm -hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. So let's say Radovid bites. What then? Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout. Somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Mm -hmm. Good idea. I'll divide my men. Post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll. Bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? Hmm. I mean, I'm going to do it this time. I really want to see where this goes. I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theater? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. No. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Deekstra and I have many cocksucking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. <laughs> not as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kill. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just around the corner, in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. I feel the the bridge must be clear. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fighting? If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. It's Philippa! We talk to these guys again? White Wolf? Vernon. Okay, well, I think this is as good of a spot as I'm gonna get to pause. Tomorrow we will continue along this assassinate Radovid plan and see what happens next. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video.